the hope of any college or university is that we're preparing people for a lifetime, that they're here for this moment when we'll give them what they need to help get through the whole rest of their life. Anybody in the early part of the 21st century is going to need a deep understanding of the most important thing that's going to happen in the 21st century, this ongoing shift in the world around us as the climate changes. They'll need to understand that we can still keep it from getting absolutely out of control, but only with hard work. They'll need to understand what the consequences of not doing that will be. They'll need to understand all the ways that they can help. Um, this is, um, in many ways, the context for everybody's education now. I think by all accounts, Dickinson is right in the thick of this, that, you know, when people like the Sierra Club rank schools, Dickinson always comes out near the top because of its beautiful commitment to changing its physical plant, its curriculum, its operations in order to make uh, 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 in a much more sustainable place. Just to be in the buildings, to be at the farm, um, um, to be down at the treehouse and see the students. It's to understand that this is a place that's taken sustainability uh, deeply to heart. And I think the only place really that Dickinson has left to, to demonstrate its leadership will come as it uh, considers these new questions about endowment and portfolio um, as it encounters this spreading, quickly spreading divestment movement. And we'll see whether it can follow the colleges that have already decided that uh, they think it's both prudent and moral to be divested from uh, the companies that are causing the, the biggest part of our climate problem. Look, Dickinson is, for a very long time, stretching way back into the beginning of American history, been an important place um, for people to think about the future and to act on that future. And, um, this is the great challenge for our time, you know. In our grandparents' time, the great challenge was the fight against fascism. Um, in our parents' time, maybe the great challenge was the fight against segregation. In our time, it's the fight against the ongoing destruction of the one planet that we've got. And I'm so glad that Dickinson's playing a real role in that fight, and I'm so proud to be just in a small way associated with this place.